and under the snow is the picture book that inspired a winter woodland study. We love and own several in this series by Kate Messner. I suggest you check them out. Over the snow I glide into woods, frosted fresh and white. Over the snow a flash of fur, a red squirrel disappears down a crack. Where did he go? Under the snow, Dad says. And the story follows with animals over and under the snow they find along their way. For our first project, it was inspired by animal tracks on snow. I made these animal track discs with air dry clay and are set of Safari LTD tubes North American Wildlife. For the most part, the footprints on these figures are accurate and pretty neat. We use the discs in matching activities, so matching the track to its animal and also a track to track matching with this animal tracks sheet. All in all, it was a really simple project, but it turned out to be a lot of fun. And this next resource should be of no surprise, Nature Anatomy by the Julia Rothman Collection. There are several spreads in Chapter 5, Creature Feature, uh, to use for inspiration. So back to this spread that inspired me to put together a piece on burrows and dens. Burrow and den scavenger hunts are actually one of our favorite things to do on winter nature walks. Of course, we are sure not to disturb wildlife, although we were once greeted by a friendly snake who peeked his head out of a tree hollow to say hello. It's a wondrous thing for littles to imagine who can be inhabiting these lairs, especially an abandoned one when we feel a bit more confident about scavenging for clues to who sheltered there. So naturally, I just had to create a piece of that wonderment for our shelf. Another hands-on resource for animal tracks matching. This is a puzzle which was gifted to us and my toddler especially loves this one. It's a corrective puzzle uh, so the edges are made to specifically fit the correct match. The Kissing Hand, another picture book. This one is a classic that we've loved for years. This story is about a young raccoon named Chester who is feeling a bit of anxiousness and sadness about his first day of school. He expresses to his mama that he'll miss his play at home, his toys, his books. His mama, of course, comforts him and reassures him that he will make friends and find new toys to play with at school. But the sweetest reassurance is when she lets him in on a little secret, the kissing hand. She kisses the middle of his palm. His mother's love would go with him wherever he went, even to school. The entire book is just warm and sweet and comforting for little ones. During this story time, we molded tiny hearts to represent the kissing hand. We warmed a piece of Stockmar modeling wax and you only need a small square in our hands during the story. And by the time we read through the story, a few times because of course the littles will always ask for more the wax was soft enough to mold this is a wonderful tool to keep tiny hands busy and ears listening during a story or read aloud i think i want 
want to go to school, he told his mother. May I please stay home with you? Some of you may know how much we love our Dover coloring books. I used this National Park coloring book to bring in little bits of geography into the study. So Bella chooses a page to color and I read the short passage. This one is on a national park in the state of Maine, which then leads us to look for Maine on our map, further study the state, its population, the state flag, special places, and of course the wildlife. Measuring animal tracks with this awesome resource from a TPT store and I'll of course have everything I can linked down below. What's neat about this resource is that the animal tracks are approximately accurate to its respective animal and also the download is available in both English and Spanish. I set up a math invitation by pairing this resource with our DIY Play-Doh, the Safari LTD figures, and some loose parts. We made more tracks in the snow, uh, matching, measuring, but most of all, lots of play. And this tray I put together for Noah with a Winter Woodlands Early Learning Bundle that I have on Etsy. Number and number words tracing. And I also encourage Noah to use loose parts for uh, number quantity and number sense work. put together a few things for a paper punching activity with paint card samples and a snowflake puncher. This requires some good strength which is great for strengthening his hand muscles along with scissor practice. And anatomy worksheets so cutting out and gluing uh, and labeling the parts of uh, woodland animals. And we also studied owls, inspired by the lovely pepper and pine, and I will link her owl unit study playlist down below, but also by yet another picture book, and this is Owl Moon. The dedication reads, For my husband David, who took all of our children owling, to my granddaughter for when she's old enough to go owling. And I just love that. It warmed my heart. And the storyline is exactly about that. A father who takes his daughter owling into the woods, calling out for a great horned owl. And I hope that you were able to watch the owl pellets dissection and lap book video that we posted a few weeks ago. If not, you missed our own owling adventure when we found an owl pellet to what we believe belongs to a great horned owl that has been spotted in the woodlands behind our neighborhood. So we made a lap book project out of that dissection. We learned what owls eat the anatomy, uh, owl species, their sounds or calls, and of course, documenting our finds in the pellet. We also did some sequencing by owl measurements and owl poems and songs. There are so many wonderful resources that we were able to put together in this lap book. Uh, and I linked all of those resources in that video. So I'm going to link that lap book and owl pellet dissection video so that you can watch it after this one if you did miss it. And this is a mama project. I made these cards for learning and identifying North American owl species. So we researched which parts of the country they're native to, their sounds and calls, habitats, and of course they also make a beautiful banner on our shelf display. Uh, and I did share these over on TPT, which I will link down below. Okay, our next project, and you guessed it, inspired by another picture book, Owl Babies. So three baby owl siblings, Bill, Sarah, and Percy, who find that their mama owl has left the nest, but of course, she always returns. I needle felted three baby owls, uh, Bill, Percy, and Sarah. The nest is from the craft store, and we 
had this piece of tree trunk which is where their nest sits in the story and the branch uh, the baby owls share as they sit and wait for their owl mama to return the kids just love using props to act out stories uh, for pretend play of course and to hold while they listen Burrowing owls are a species that is native to our area, so we checked out this non-fiction book to balance out our fiction resources. Bella especially enjoys our non-fiction books. I also put out uh, several fun owl-themed worksheets for her. Uh, this one is Color by Addition and Subtraction, Color by Sight Words, uh, there is also a word search that she didn't get to and more math um, along with some extra pellet dissection worksheets. Another math tray with this fun graphing printable and owl addition by using the graph to complete the addition problems. And this tray was great because it worked for both Noah and Bella. Uh, Noah was able to do the graphing portion and Bella was able to do both the graphing and the addition problems. By the way, I've been meaning to apologize about the awful lighting and that ring light glare that you get. Bear with me, it is winter, it's been uh, foggy and rather dark, uh, even with the ring light. Hoping for spring and sunshine soon to come. And I found these felt owl stickers at my local craft store and I knew I could use them to put together math activities for my toddler. So matching, sorting, counting, and number sense.